So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to add bleed to any art file or print file in Adobe Illustrator. And this is going to be the same method for Adobe Photoshop, Adobe InDesign and Acrobat. Now, before I take you guys onto my computer and show you how it's actually done in Illustrator, I want to explain to you why bleed is important. So let's say, for instance, you've got this file and you sent it to your local print shop because you want to get a thousand of these printed out and cut to color. You want to remove the white and Shortly after you send your file over to the print shop, you get a call from one of the guys saying, Hey, so I just noticed your file doesn't have any bleed. Did you want to go ahead and fix that and send me a new file? Or do you want me to send this file over to my graphic designer to fix? Or did you just want to go ahead and print and cut what you've already given us? Now here's the thing, if you choose to give the file over to the graphic designer to fix, it may cost you $35 for the graphic designer to fix your file and be print and cut ready. Or if in fact you have no idea what they're talking about, you have no idea what bleed is and you say, oh, don't worry about it. Just print and copy what I gave you. You may have a big problem and you may not get what exactly you want. So let's look at this file again. I want to explain to you why bleed is important so this is the file that you sent the print shop and you want this cut to color so you want to remove the white but what's going to happen is in this file you can see that you've made your letters very close to the red so when we go ahead and cut this and you want a thousand of these printed we're going to use our industrial knives to cut through a thousand of these sheets and because your letters are so close to the edge of the print when the knife comes down, it may come down very close to the letters. And when you get the final job, it may not be what you want. As well as on the side right here, this border might be chopped off because you've got no bleed. So when we say add bleed, for instance, let's say that this file that you sent is 8 by 10. When we say add bleed, we expect you to add additional space to your image that's a margin for us to cut into so we don't actually cut into your actual image. And I can show you what I mean on my drawing board here. So for instance, let's say you've got an 8 by 10 square and you want to add bleed to this file. So when I say you're adding bleed, you are actually what you want to do is instead of making an 8 by 10 image you want to make an 8.25 image so when we cut the image we've got crop marks we've got a margin to cut into now i've worked in the field for many years so i know what we are expecting is at least 0.25 of an inch of bleed that way it gives us enough margin to cut into the image ensuring that you are actually getting the image that you want and so it's important that you understand this and you are able to fix the file yourself because if in fact we send this over to the graphic designer the graphic designer may just stretch your image even though we took it in and we fixed it it still may not be what you want so i'm going to take you guys onto my computer and i'm going to show you how you can add bleed to your art file or to your print file so let's go so here we are looking at Adobe Illustrator. Now, very similar to Adobe Photoshop, Adobe InDesign, there's nothing different. First things first, we want to create a new file. So we're going to click on new file and it's going to open up our new document window, which gives us the option to put our preset details. Now, I always like to work in inches. And as you can see here, my presets are already set to make me a business card. Three and a half inches wide, two and a half inches tall and right below you're going to see right here it says bleed and there's top bottom right and left so what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on the box right here and you're going to type in 0.25 that's what we want our bleed to be and you're going to see the link button right here when you click on the link button it's going to link it so it's going to make 2.5 on all four sides as you can see there it's it's logged it in onto all four sides then we're going to go down below and we're going to click create so when we click create you can see here on our artboard that the 3.5 by 2 business card is in the white right here but you can also see that there's a red line 
around this image. And that's because that is gonna be our bleed. So when we cut into your image, we're gonna be cutting to the 3.5 by two. But so when you are creating your file, you wanna make sure that you are working outside of the 3.5 by two. For instance, your image bleeds all the way out and you give us this margin to cut. So we don't cut into your actual artwork, which is the 3.5 by two. And that is the biggest reason why bleed is important because we want to ensure that you are getting the actual artwork that you put together as opposed to cutting in and taking away from any of your artwork. Anyways, that is adding bleed. Catch you guys in the next one.